Hi, I'm Josephine Gorshoff here with Jimra, and today we have an amazing full body 45 minute workout with weights. I'm using five pound dumbbells today. Each move is 45 seconds with a 15 second rest. We also have a five minute warm up and five minute cool down. And the last 10 minutes is cardio. So 45 minutes full body, let's get started. Let's warm it up with a little march in place. We're just gonna warm up the body, get the joints lubricated, and get ready for our awesome full body workout. Are you ready at home? All right, let's go a little wider. Good, pushing into the floor with the toes, lifting the knees, activating the core, belly button to spine, all right? Good, and back in the center. Now let's put those two together. We go out and in. Just warming up the body gradually. We don't wanna jump into our workout too fast. Always warm up your body so you don't get injured, okay? Good, now let's tap it out. Tap, and use your arms. This is just the warm up, don't you worry. It will get more difficult. So get ready for an awesome workout today. Are you starting to get a little bit warmer? I am. Good, five, four, three, two, one. Good, let's bring it side to side. Good, squeezing the back. Always keep your abs engaged with every move, even in the warm up and the cool down. Your core is the center of your body and it always needs to be activated during anything that we do in daily life, whether it's standing, sitting, working out. Good, let's add a little hamstring curl to that. Boom, kick the booty, squeezing back. I'm getting warmer, are you? Good, now let's bring the knees up in front. Good, squeezing the abs, driving the knee side to side. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Let's top it back, back, back. Good, a nice slight bend in the knees. Core's tight, flat back, straight arms. Tapping back. Good, give me 10 more here. Good, let's take it up a notch. A little light jump rope here. Light on the balls of the feet. Getting a little more intense with our warm up here. Warming it up gradually. Taking our time. Make sure to breathe. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. 10 more seconds here. Good, let's bring it side to side. Good, nice, deep side lunge. Warming up the inner thigh and the glute, pushing through the heel, chest is up, core is tight. Good, side to side. Give me five more, five, four, three, two, one and hold one side and pulse. Good, warming up that glute, warming up the quadricep. Five, four, three, two, one, switch other side. Good, pushing through the heel, knee does not come over the toe. Good form is key, the other leg is straight. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, back to marches, arm circles forward. Lubricating the rotator cuff, the arm, the shoulder. Good, let's take it backwards now. Reaching long and back. Straight arms, like you're swimming with a, a backward stroke. Yes. Five, four, three, two, one. Now reaching side to side. Good, let's take it up a notch. Warm up that body. Got that heart rate up. And straight, 
Reach with those arms, twist the torso, warming up the core and the back with these torso twists reaching right to left. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, march it out. Good, Woo. Are you getting warm at home? How are we feeling on this warm up? The warm up's almost done. We're almost ready for our main event. Here we go. Jumping jacks. Oh, yeah. You're doing great. Straight arms. Are you ready for the main event? I am. And I hope you are too. There's 30 moves total. I'll be using five pound dumbbells. You use the weight that feels good for you, all right? You can go heavier or lighter, depending on the day, depending on how you feel that day. It's your workout. Customize it to where your body is. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. March it out. Whew, catch your breath. We're gonna go into the first move in four, three, two, one. Grab your dumbbells. Warm up's over. Let's get ready. We're gonna do a squat to bicep with a push out. So squat down, bicep, push out. You got it, here we go. Let's boogie, woo! Squat down, bicep curl, push out. Push through the heel, core is tight, push out. Nice work. We're working the legs, the biceps, the chest and the shoulders. So it's full body compound movements. Here you get the most bang for your buck right here. This is most metabolically efficient to work your upper and lower body together. Whew. My heart rate's coming up as yours. I'm feeling it already and it's only the first move. Oh yeah, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be tough, but it's gonna be worth it. All right, few more seconds here. Then we get a quick 15 second break and on to the next move. Last one. Good job, all right, 15 second break. Grab water quickly if you need it. Next move, deadlift to upright row. I'll show you from the side. We hinge at the hip, we come up, upright row. Here we go in three, two, one. Shave the shin, come up, upright row. You should feel a nice deep stretch in the back of the leg, working the hamstring in the upper, excuse me, lower glute. And then we're working the shoulder right here with that upright row. And a little bit of back. Full body compound movements. Let's go. Good, always do it with control. Do not swing the weight. Control down, come up, reach up. 10 more seconds here, then we're moving on. Last one, boom, great job. All right, next move is a split squat to tricep kickback. We're gonna do one side, then the other. So we come down, split squat, hinge, tricep kickback. Here we go in three, two, one. Bend the knee, come down, push through the heel. Hinge at the hip, tricep kickback. Come on down, down. Slow and controlled. These moves are not about speed. They are about form, Working the body, resistance training. Full body moves right here. Doing great at home, keep it up. Do not swing the weight, control. Last few seconds. And Last one, good, great job. We gotta switch sides, do the other leg in front. All right, are you ready? Here we go, three, two, one. We come down, we hinge, kick it back, flat back, core's tight. Pushing through the front heel on the split squat. Your elbows are tucked into the rib cage and you're kicking it back without swinging controlling, working the back of the arm. Your chest is up on the split squat, hinge, bring it up, kick it back. 
full body compound movements, working the whole body with only one move. I love this. Last few seconds here. Hold on. Woo! My glutes feeling it, my triceps are feeling it. And yes, great job. Woo! My booty was feeling that, pushing through that front heel. Great job at home. Next move we're moving into is a sumo squat to bicep curl down and bicep curl up. Sumo squat, bicep curl down, bicep curl up. Here we go. Let's get right into it. Wide leg stance, down, hold isometric squat, bicep curl. Deep sumo, bicep curl, come up, bicep curl. I really want you to get low in that isometric squat hold, pushing through the heels. You should feel it in the inner thigh too. Get a nice deep stretch with that sumo squat, right? These are all about control and form, okay? It's not about speed here. So if you need to use a heavier or lighter weight, feel free, it's your workout. A few more seconds, last one, great job. Next move is a lateral walk to double pulse. So we go lateral walk, double pulse squat, switch. Lateral walk, double pulse squat, here we go. Lateral walk, double pulse squat. Lateral walk, double pulse squat. Nice job, lateral walk. Chest up, and it's a narrow squat this time. And make it a woo, a good, nice lateral walk over. Get some distance there. Doing great at home. Chest is up, core is tight. So you're about hip width apart on this squat. You're almost there, great job. Few more. My booty's feeling it. Is yours? Last one. Oh yeah, the quads were feeling that one too. All right, next move we're doing is a bent arm lateral raise to tricep extension. So what we do here, reverse fly, Tricep, got it? Here we go. Reverse fly, bring it up. Narrow row tricep. So we're working our rear delts, our back, and our triceps. Nice job. Flat back, core is tight. Whoo, you are doing great. Feel this in the abs, the rear delts, the back and the triceps, full body. Gotta love these moves. Love these compound movements. Working multiple body parts at one time. You are doing great. Keep the core engaged. Here we go. And done, nice job. All right, next move we've got here is a pivoting lunge, hammer curl. All right, so we lunge, hammer curl, Lunge, pivoting lunge hammer. Let's go. Pivot, lunge, hammer curl. Pivot, lunge, hammer. Great job. It's kind of like our split squat, but we're pivoting on that toe, coming to center, hammer curl. Get deep in the knee. So I want you to come 90 degrees down, pushing through that heel, using the glute to push up. Come to center, abs are engaged, biceps popping. Oh yeah. Last one. Next move, we're gonna come back a little. Weights up here. We're gonna go one, two, three forward walks, and then one, two, Three back walks. Are you ready? Your quads will be on fire. Let's go. One, two, three. Take it backwards. Stay low. One, two, three. Your quads and your glutes. Woo! I don't know if you're going to be able to walk after this one. This is a tough move. Keep the chest up. Good. One, two, three. Three, try to stay low. I'm coming up a little, I know, because it's burning. 
Ah, we're almost there. One, two, three. Are you feeling it? Last 10 seconds here. Take it forward one more time. One, two, three, backwards and done. Oh my God, that hurts. Shake it out. All right, one more move here. We're gonna do lateral raise, tricep extension down. Here we go. In three, two, one. Bent arm lateral raise, tricep extension, come center, down. Here we go. Keep the core tight. Working shoulders, abs here, triceps, a little bit of chest. Oh yeah, I'm feeling it. That hold here, whew. You got the lateral shoulder raise hold. Kick it out, bring it in. Shoulders are feeling this one. I got some good news though. We got a quick little break stretch to grab water, stretch it out. And then we go on to our next 10 moves in three, two, one, release. All right, this is your chance to grab water, towel off, stretch a little bit. Follow me, ooh, get a deep, nice side body stretch here. This is your little break to do what you need to do. You need to fix your hair, grab some water, towel off, make sure your kids are alive in the other room, whatever you gotta do right here. Shoulders, let's stretch those out from that lateral shoulder raise. Whew. Good work at home, how you feeling? I'm sweating and I hope you are too. Switch open the chest, other side. Good, let's do a nice deep inner thigh stretch, pushing through the heel. This break is well worth it, you deserve it. These moves are tough. These full body moves really get your heart rate way up and they're metabolically efficient which I love because you get more bang for your buck. A shorter workout burns more calories than doing a two hour workout working on only one body part. All right, lifting up. Oh, this feels good. Try to lift the rib cage off the hips. Get tall, shoulders by the ears. Breathe. Whew. This feels nice. All right, little hamstring stretch here. Hinge at the hip, stretching out the back of the leg from those walks front and back. Oh yeah, certain moves stay with you. They're imprinted in your mind because they're really painful, but it's a good kind of pain, right? Switch other side. Flex the foot, hinge at the hip, get deep into that stretch. All right, guys, I got good news and bad news. Bad news is break's almost over. Good news is, is we got more moves to do, woo! All right, so now we need you to grab your weights, break's over, let's get back into the workout. Are we ready? Yes, we are. Next move is an abduction, reverse lunge, lateral raise. We're gonna start on one side, then the other. So we go abduction, same leg, reverse lunge with an opposite lateral raise. I know it's a lot going on, watch me. Here we go. Abduction, reverse lunge, opposite lateral raise. Come back to center. Abduction with one side, same side, reverse lunge, lateral raise back to center slow and controlled abduction reverse lunge lateral raise this is working the core and balance abduction reverse lunge lateral raise at the same time back to center abduct using balance and core reverse lunge lateral raise opposite arm you got it now right finally we're at the end of the move and you just got it right this is a brain teaser last one Boom, boom, woo, now we got the other side, all right. Now that you got the hang of it, same move again, other side, all right? So you go abduction, that same leg, reverses back, lateral uh, reach with the other side. Here we go, abduction, reverse lunge, lateral raise, perfect, back to center. You abduct, balance, keep your core tight, reverse lunge, Lateral raise, back to center. Abduct, reverse, reach. Working core, balance, abductors, glutes, shoulders. 
Oh yeah, this move works it all right here. You like it? I love this move. I know it takes a second to master, but that's okay. It's all about working the brain, getting new neural pathways, and last one. Great job there. Awesome work. Next move we're gonna do is a staggered leg deadlift with a kickback. So starting on whatever side you want, staggered leg, deadlift, the foot that's in the back kicks back. All right, here we go. Deadlift, kick back. Deadlift, staggered leg, kick it back, come straight up. Kick back. All right, staggered leg deadlift, kick it back. Hinge at the hip, shave the shin, pushing through the heel of that front leg. Really feeling it in the glute. Kick it straight back with a pointed toe. We still have to do the other side. My booty is feeling it. Is yours? Few more seconds and we switch sides. Last one. All right, great job. Now we gotta move to the other side. All right, so you did one side behind, now just pivot over. Here we go, three, two, one. Hinge at the hip with your staggered deadlift. Kick it back. The back leg is the one that kicks back. Front leg, you push through the heel using the glute. Whew. My glutes are feeling it and my hamstrings. Loving this move. Hope you like this one at home. Almost there. I love these staggered leg deadlifts because they really work the glute. A little more than just the hamstring. A few more seconds. Last one. Great job at home. Oh, my booty's on fire. Is yours? I'm feeling it. All right. Next move we've got is a push out tricep overhead squat. So. We push out lateral squat, tricep overhead. Here we go. Push out lateral squat, tricep overhead. Lateral squat, push out, tricep in the center, overhead. Here we go. Woo! I love these compound moves, not only because they are efficient, they work the brain and the neural pathways because you're moving your body in different directions you're doing multi-joint movements, working different body parts. So it's great for your mind, your body, your metabolism. Yes. Last five seconds. And last one. Great job. All right. Next move we're gonna do, holding the weights overhead, isometric hold, knee, and knee, and then knee, and knee. Here we go. Knee center. Knee center alternating. Knee to the side, knee to the side. So we're working shoulder and abs, the standing ab move. So open up the hip on that one. Oh, my shoulders are on fire. Yes. Open, open. So you're getting your obliques your lower abs with the knee drive and the shoulders. Breathe through it, it's slow and controlled resistance move. Working those obliques, working those lower abs. Last side and side. Wow, that was tough. Great job, next move. We get into a sumo squat, we twist. One, two, three, four, Lateral raise. Here we go. Isometric sumo hold with a twist and a lateral raise. Go. Twist. Two, three, four. Lateral raise. All oh, your quads are going to thank me later. Get deep with it. Get low. Twist. Use the core. One, two, three, four. Lateral raise. This is working every body part here. Quadriceps. 
core, shoulders, booty. One, two, three, four. Get lower, I know. Woo it burns. One, two, three, four. Lateral raise, few more seconds. One, two, three, four. Lateral raise. Wow, my quads in that isometric sumo squat. Wow, feel that one. All right, next move. High bicep curl out to the side. High bicep curl to the front. Here we go. High bicep curl, bring it out. High bicep curl to the front. Do not drop the arms. That's how the shoulders will be working. So we're working shoulders, biceps, abs. Lateral bicep, keep the arms up. That's why I'm using five pound dumbbells. Woo hoo, this burns, oh yeah. To the front. Try with all your might. You can keep good form not to drop the weights down in between the lateral and the front. 10 more seconds here, hold strong. You can do anything for 10 seconds, right? You are a warrior. Three, two, one. Woo. Roll those shoulders back. All right, we got one more move. Before we go into our cardio segment, we have a curtsy lunge. Come center, narrow row, wide row, alternating curtsy lunge. Here we go, let's go. Curtsy lunge, come to center, hinge, narrow row, wide row. Curtsy lunge, other side. Get low with it, hinge, narrow row, wide row, switch. Curtsy, center, narrow, wide. I think you got the hang of it now. Whew. Pushing through that front heel, bending the back knee 90 degrees. Really working the glutes, quads, hamstrings. And then your back when you come up to that narrow and wide row. And done, great job. All right, drop your weight. Two minute break here. We're gonna stretch. We're gonna grab water. We're gonna check on our kids. We're gonna tell our partner we are getting stronger, feeling better, getting more confident right now. Woo! Stretch it out, you're doing awesome at home. How you feeling? Shake it out. So, good news is we are more than halfway done with our workout. Woo! Give yourself a pat on the back, boom, boom. Bad news or good news depending on how you're feeling is our next 10 moves are all cardio so we have 10 minutes of cardio Woo! so I want you to give everything you got to the last 10 minutes here okay they're 45 second moves with a 15 second break while I explain the next move if you know what the move is keep moving through the whole minute switch other side quadriceps stretch balance these last 10 minutes, you should be drenched in sweat. Your heart should be through the roof. All right? We got our resistance and our weights out of the way. We don't need our weights anymore. Just body weight, all cardio. You got this. All right, come down, stretch out the shoulder, stretch the inner thigh. How we feeling at home? We having fun yet? I hope you love to work out as much as I do. And I hope that I can make it fun for you by coming up with interesting moves that help you be the best version of yourself. All right. All right, march it out. Tricep stretch. All right, you ready for your cardio moves? Break's over. Let's get moving. Our first move is a cross country to fast feet so we go one two three four one two three four you got it i'm gonna show you from the side here we go one two three four cross country fast feet one two three four one two three four one two three four come on get those toes working one two three four one two three four cross country, one, two, three, four, football run, let's go. 
How we doing? You're doing great. 45 seconds here. You got this. Last 10 seconds. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Woo! Next move we got. Alternating punch kick. One, two, like this. I want you to get your legs up high and reach. Are you ready? 45 seconds on the clock. In three, in two, in one. Punch kick, punch kick. Good punches. Get the leg up, use the lower abs. Your heart rate should be coming up. Punch and kick, punch and kick. If you can get your leg high, get it up high. If it's low, modify. Keep moving. Your last 10 minutes to give this workout everything you've got, right? How do you want to finish today? I want to finish strong, more confident, fitter. That's how I want to finish. And I hope you do too. So don't give up on me now. Hold strong in five, four, three, two, one. Woo, catch your breath. Right into our next move in 15 seconds. It is lateral bunny hops. So we go hop, hop, and I use my arms. Here we go. In three and two and one. Keep your feet together. Hop, hop, like you're hopping over an invisible line. All right, hop side to side. You can go faster or you can go slower or you can tap over, tap over if you need to modify. Otherwise, let's go. I'm bunny hopping down the slopes, pretending I'm an Aspen, somewhere nice and cold. Whew. Maybe it's cold where you're out. Here it's nice, sunny and 70, oh yeah. In October. Almost there, stay with it. Use your arms, swinging side to side. Few more seconds here. Good, great job. Next move we're gonna do, back kick alternating punch. So you use the opposite hand, opposite leg. Boom, boom, and you stay bent over so your glutes activated. Here we go. Three, two, one. Kick, like you're kicking open a door. Back kick, glute is working. Foot is flexed. Bang that back door open. Punch with the opposite hand. Boom, boom. Your core should be tight and activated. Your heart rate should be coming up through the roof. Almost there. My booty is feeling this one. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Is your heart rate up? Mine is. We got about five more moves left, so stay strong. Stick with it. All right. Next move we got speed bag up and down with glute kicks. So we glute kick, speed bag down for two, speed bag up for two. Here we go. Speed bag down, speed bag up, down for two, up for two while you're kicking your glutes. Let's go. Down, up, working the triceps and the shoulders. Getting the heart rate up. This is fun, right? I love to pretend I'm a boxer. I love boxing. Hands above the head, up high. Almost there. You got this. You can do anything for 45 seconds, right? You put your mind to it, you can do it. Three, two, one. All right, catch your breath really quick into our next move. Whew. Four punches forward with a knee drive. So we go one, two, three, four, knee drive. Here we go. Let's go. Three, two, one, one, two, three, four, knee drive, yes. One, two, three, four. Knee drive. Knee drive. One, two, three, four. 
knee drive. I hope you like my kickboxing inspired moves today. One, two, three, four. Knee drive, yes. So it's front punch, cross punch, front punch, cross punch, knee drive, use those abs. Woo! Heart rates through the roof. Use the abs, use the core to twist. Almost there. One, two, three, four. Five, four, three, two, one. Good news and bad news. Got to do the other side, but that's a fun move. So that's the good news. All right, so we go one, two, three, four. Knee drive with the other leg. Here we go. In five, four, three, two, one. Punch, cross, punch, cross. Knee drive. Remember, keep your guard up by your face. Really bring that knee up high using the abs. Lower abs working here. We're almost there. We're at the end of our workout. Let's finish with everything we got, right? Finish strong. A few more seconds. Let's go. Woo. Yes. All right, all right, we got jump rope, forward and back. So, one, two, got it? Forward, back, jump rope. Here we go, in three, in two, in one. Jump rope forward, jump rope back. Using your abs, this is my mostly boxing inspired cardio segment here. Hope you're enjoying it. Boxers love to use a jump rope. Forward, back. Good, keep the arms moving. Keep the abs engaged. Jump rope really burns a lot of calories. You do 10 minutes of jump roping, you will be dead, I promise you. Five, four, three, two, one. Final move of the day. I want you to give everything you got. 45 seconds non-stop, don't stop, can't stop, won't quit. It is a sprint in place. Everything you got, here we go. Whew. Three, two, one. Come on, this is it, use your arms. You're at the end of the race. And you, how do you wanna to finish today? Go to that place mentally. You have to be mentally strong, want this. Move your arms, move the legs, get them up. This is it. I know I'm screaming at you, I'm pushing you to the end. I'm doing it for myself too, because this workout is hard. Gotta stay focused, breathe. Come on, everything you got right here. Pick it up, 10 seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, done. Yes, clap for yourself. Give yourself a pat on the back. You did it. Whew, that was tough. 10 minute cardio at the end gets you every time. All right, march it out. Let the heart rate come down naturally. Put your hand on your heart. Feel the beating of the heart. It's going fast. Let's slow it down. Good, reach up, inhale, exhale, come down. Inhale, exhale, come down. Inhale up, exhale, come down. All right, let's go right to left with our arms. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Want our heart rate to come down very slowly, not abruptly. So let's keep moving till it slows its way down. Slow down our breathing. Last three, and two, and one, and hold one side. I'm sweating, I hope you are too. Whoo, that was a hot one. Switch other side. Good. 
Good, bring the feet in, bend, twist the torso, stretching that inner thigh out. Switch, push against the inner thigh. Good, hinge over, hamstring stretch, reach for the toe. Switch it out, reach for the other toe, hinge at the hip, flex the foot, get that deep stretch in the back of the leg. All right, come on up, quadricep stretch. Other side. Good, shoulder stretch. Close your eyes. Thank yourself for showing up today, giving it your all. I always give 100% to my workouts every day that I can. And every day is gonna be a little bit different. Some days we have more energy, some days we feel better than others. Tricep stretch. Switch. Good, arm circles forward. And reach over, stretching out the side body. Switching sides. Good, grab the hands, open up the chest, lock the fingers together, release the neck. Good, come down, put your hands on your thighs, cat and cow, releasing the lower back. A few more seconds here and then we're done for the day. Woohoo! Good. Shoulder circles up to the ears and back. And forward. And neck roll. And done. Thank you so much for joining me. You did awesome today. Way to kick butt on your full body workout.